American Medical Review is a national platform where science and art meet, where improving and preserving health and wellness take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the healers and innovators. These editorial profiles presented on public television single out advancements in medical treatments, procedures, and services. Baby Bands was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to promoting progress in the field of health and medicine. Lazy sunbathers to the more active outdoor enthusiast, millions of people love to take advantage of a sunny day. It's tough to stay indoors when the sun is out despite warnings of overexposure to ultraviolet rays. Most of us are familiar with the immediate effects such as sunburn, but more serious long-term problems such as skin cancer and cataracts can also occur. As some adults take measures to protect themselves, physicians say even more precaution should be taken for children. Sunlight is potentially damaging to children beginning immediately after birth. They are very lightly complected, making them more sensitive to sunlight. Uh, the damage from the sun can appear years later. Misconceptions uh, concerning sunlight include the cloudy day myth. The sun harmful rays, which is ultraviolet light, easily pass through the clouds and expose us even on days when there is a cloud cover. When we're exposed now, early in our lives, we may pay a heavy price later in the form of premature aging, skin tumors, and potentially damage to the internal structures of the eye. Reports show children face greater risks during the summer months because they spend so much time outside. Juliet McCamey of Miami says she's aware of this fact and that's why she's taking extra measures to protect her two-year-old daughter's sensitive skin and vision from Florida's blazing sun. She's very fair skin and she uh, loves to be at the beach and be outdoors all the time so we have to take precautionary measures. Sun is very dangerous. You have to wear hats, you have to wear uh, protective clothing, sunscreens, and specialized sunglasses really help uh, to prevent further eye diseases down, down the road. The patented eyewear Juliet found is considered more than just a fashion accessory. The frames and lenses are made from polycarbonate, a material widely known for its durability. Clinical tests show the sunglasses also offer full UV protection for newborns to three-year-olds. Well, as you would be aware, infant and toddlers come in all shapes and sizes. So another feature of the glasses is the fully adjustable neoprene strap. Neoprene is the material they use to make wetsuits. The flexibility of this material allows us to be able to fit the glasses to a wide range of children, say from the ages of zero to five. And all this was developed in Australia where we have one of the harshest UV climates on the planet. The potential benefits of eye protection at an early age relate mostly to the cumulative effect of exposure to harmful uh, forms of radiation, particularly ultraviolet light from the sun. While some exposure to sunlight can be enjoyable and even healthy, too much can be dangerous. The risks of sun overexposure may be lessened as more options in protection continue to be made available. I guess one of our prime objectives is education to the American public in the harmful effects of UV rays and that education hopefully will protect the American public from the diseases that we are currently experiencing in Australia. Those diseases can take some 20 or 30 years to come to fruition. So if we can start to protect our young ones from the ages of zero to one by wearing our quality UV protection items, then I think we'll go on a long way in protecting the American public. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there also is love of humanity. Once again, American Medical Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's health and wellness challenges. This has been a presentation of WJMK.